Today, you'll learn how to build a ClickFunnels landing page in just 10 minutes. I'll show you step by step so you'll know exactly what to do. So I'm on a mission to create 100 ClickFunnels templates for free that you can use. Now, if you want the first free template, click the link in my description and fill out this form for instant access to this opt-in funnel. Once you fill out this form, you'll also get sent to the One Funnel Away sign up page where you can sign up for this 10 day challenge that teaches you how to build your own online business using ClickFunnels. I took this back in 2020 and this was the best challenge I ever took and I highly recommend you take it if you are interested in learning how to make money online. Okay, so there are two ways to build a ClickFunnels landing page. You could start by using their AI Funnel Builder or browse from their variety of templates. So I wanna browse their templates, so I'm gonna click on Browse All Templates, and you can get started by selecting from a funnel type. So do you wanna collect leads? Do you wanna sell physical products? Do you want to present? Do you want to sell your services via the phone? And there are other funnel types as well. Now, I want to collect leads, so I'm gonna select Lead Funnels. And ClickFunnels has a total of seven templates that you can choose from. You can preview each template, and if you like one, just click on Add to My Account. Then select the workspace you want to install it to, and just give it a few seconds. Okay, so ClickFunnels installed our new funnel. Now I'm going to click on Customize Now. Now the first thing I like to do is change the name of my funnel and the URL. Because right now the URL is pretty long and there's tons of different characters and numbers, so I wanna clean that up. So I'm gonna click on settings, change the name right here. I'm gonna put down free checklist and you can choose the domain of your landing page. I'm gonna use the default domain and we need to change the funnel path URL. So I like to keep it as similar to the name. So I'm gonna put free checklist right there. And if your funnel is in test mode, that basically means you could test it using a fake credit card. And you also have the option to hide the Powered by ClickFunnels badge. You can add a tag to it. Don't worry about the style. And if you have any tracking codes, you can add it to either the head or the footer section. Then click on Update Funnel. Okay, so my funnel name is updated and also the URL is updated. As you can see, this is a two-step funnel. What I also like to do is change the name of each step and also the URL because as you could see here, the URL for step one is opt-in with all of these numbers. So I'm gonna click on these three dots, then click on Settings and I'm gonna change the name of this first step. So I'm gonna name it step one and update the URL to free checklist and put dash one. You can also change the SEO title. So I'm gonna put down free checklist and also the SEO meta description. And don't worry about the style guide. And you can have ClickFunnels index this in search engines as well, but I'm gonna turn that off and click on submit. Okay, so as you could see, the name is updated, including the URL. Now we can update our landing page. So I'm gonna click on edit and our landing page is all laid out for us. All we need to do is change the text and change out this image. So my goal for this landing page is to give away a free checklist. So I'm gonna change this action headline to attention digital entrepreneurs and I'm gonna change the headline Claim your free marketing checklist of all the tools I use to grow my online business. Now I think this headline is just fine, but I want to see if Napoleon, which is ClickFunnels copywriting AI, has better ideas. So I'm going to click on AI and give it a prompt. So I'm going to say rephrase this headline to make it more catchy. And I'm going to put my original headline here, then click on enter. Okay, so I think this is good, so I'm going to copy and paste it. I wanna start each word in caps, so I'm gonna click on this gear icon. Then for text casing, I'm gonna click on this button. Okay, now it looks much better. So my headline is complete. Now I'm going to change out this image. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon and click on this image URL button. And I'm gonna find the image that I want to replace it with. And it is this marketing tools checklist image. All right, now it looks a little too big. So what I'm gonna do is click on this fit dropdown and click on scale down. Okay, much better. I'm gonna update the position and the image is perfect. Now I'm gonna change this small call to action headline. Fill out the form below 
and I need to change this subheadline as well. Now I want the AI to provide me with a subheadline for this form. So I'm going to click on AI and I'm going to tell Napoleon to give me a short subheadline as well to encourage people to opt in. Okay, I like this. So I'm going to copy this part and paste it in. And I kind of like this last part as well. So I'm going to actually replace this with what Napoleon created. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to update the casing. I'm going to click on this button. Perfect. Now before we go any further, I want to see how this looks like on mobile. So I'm going to click on this mobile icon. Overall it looks good, but I want this kicker text to be just a little smaller for mobile. So I'm going to click on the gear icon, then click on override. And for font size mobile, I'm just going to make it a little smaller and increase the line height. Perfect. Now let's go back to mobile. I'm going to update this button call to action and change it to send me the checklist. Okay, and right now I don't have a testimonial, so I'm just going to delete this altogether. All right, so my form is complete, but now my image looks a little too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon, and I'm gonna reduce the image width, let's just say 70%. But now the top of the book is a little too high, so what I'm gonna do is click on this column settings and increase the top margin so that the book kind of meets at the top of the form. Perfect. Okay, lastly, we need to update our footer. So you can change out your logo by clicking on this image URL button. And we need to also add the copyright text. So I'm gonna delete all of this and paste my copyright information, including the privacy policy text and also the terms of use. And later on, I can link to my main privacy policy page and my terms of use page. Okay, so my footer is done. Now I'm going to click on save and that is it. We can click on this eye icon to preview it. Click on go to live page and this is our live ClickFunnels landing page. Now, if you want my free templates, don't forget to click the link in my description, fill out this form and you'll get access to this free opt-in funnel, including the future ones that I build out. Okay, so if you thought this was helpful, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, and if you want to check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.